Hey everyone, today we're reviewing the Lego Technic Excavator. Let's go. This is set 42006, came out in 2013 with 720 pieces, retail for about $80. Um, it's not motorized and it is really a material handler. It's got a claw here, so I don't I don't really consider it an excavator because well, I guess I mean it could use that claw to, to pull stuff out, but you can see as I turn this, it opens up, grabs the material, and moves it. I consider I consider it a material handler. <clears throat> so this is really kind of a a lighter version of the motorized excavator that came out a few years ago. This one is fully motorized with a remote control and actually does have a bucket that you would excavate with. But this one, about $120 cheaper, non-motorized, you can see it's pretty hollow on the inside and just has a bucket, I mean a, a claw. Now there are instructions that you can add, oh and this is a giant space right here, I haven't really looked at them, but this is probably where you can put the battery box and make it motorized, but even still with it being motorized it's not remote controlled motorized. It's basically you turn it on and you control it with your selection switches here. So, it, other than that, it's pretty much the, the right general shape as, as the, the other one. Um, the, the tracks seem a lot more basic versus the motorized one. It had a lot more wheels in here to help make the tracks a little bit more sturdy. Um, and then same with the, the arm, there's a, a lot of paneling missing that the, the other excavator had. Other than cosmetics, I think the, the internal workings are there. Um, it's pretty cool, pretty cool little excavator, material handler, whatever you want to call it. So for $80, eh, it's, it's about, about good price range. I would say if you can find it for 50 or 60 dollars definitely grab it um, especially for all the the internal gearing a lot of cool Technic gears in there. Uh, no minifigures as most any Technic set doesn't have it so the kids don't really dig them but for an adult he likes making things work this is a cool set. So that's our review of the 2013 excavator. Oh, let's do that. Eh, it's just this turntable. See, the turntable's geared to nothing, so it just spins free with freely. It sticks to something. Um, well, it sticks to it, and you can see us break it. We dropped this set to see how sturdy it is, and it popped only at the turntable. I can't even. I can't even there it goes. That's the only spot that it, it broke when we, we dropped this set. If you want to see the drop, look at the uh, link below. You can see us drop this. So, as all Technic sets, they are extremely sturdy. So, the kids can play with them without worry about them disassembling. Uh, unlike the system sets that you drop them a foot off the ground and you got to rebuild half of it. Um, so that's it. What, what do you like about this? Do you like anything about it? I like when that goes um, in and out. Okay. In and out. In out. In out. So you, out. you like playing with that? Do you find it to be kind of slow? You gotta turn this. There's a knob back here. So you gotta turn, 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 turn.
So it's, it's real slow. Just gotta go, 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 go. And then turn, 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 turn. And then, then you're halfway through turning, you realize you're going the wrong way. You gotta go back the other way. That's where motorizing it would help for adding the battery box. Just help, it just stops you from having to turn it. There we go. That's our review. See you next time. Good for nothing. It's good for nothing. No, I'm here for nothing. You were here for nothing. What do you want to do? Build Legos. Oh, okay, you want to build something. All right, we're gonna go build something. See ya.